Hello everybody, my name is Matheson. Welcome back to some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. The story of, Rel of Ryan Letourneau is over. Uh, he attempted to survive and, and, and failed. However, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the initial like test run. It was kind of like a pilot in a lot of ways uh, of whether or not this is something that I, people were going to be interested in watching. And even if they were, maybe after the first episode, they're like, this is not my thing. But a lot of people stuck around and I appreciate that. So I'm going to do another run here. I'm actually going to do another run in the same world because I have an idea uh, of the next story I want to play. And it kind of ties nicely into the story of before. So first we're gonna make ourselves a brand new character here on uh, on Dish dish here game. And the character we're gonna be making is Ryan's wife, Kate. While Ryan was whisked away during the Cataclysm, the Cataclysm struck at a time where Kate was off and uh, maybe at a, like landing at an airport after traveling to Japan or something where she, she actually recently did. She went to Tokyo Game Show and we could say, you know, around that time she was landed. So unfortunately she was separated from Ryan. Well, Ryan was at home and a friend took him away to put him somewhere safe. Kate was left at the hands of the government and uh, more or less was kind of left on her own in order to, to make that work. However, I might have to make a brand new world. And the reason I'm going to make a brand new world, now that I think about it, is um, the current world we have has, it's, it's winter time, and I don't want to do a winter time start again. I'm just, I'm really just not ready for it as much as I hate to admit it. Um, so I'm going to change the world here. And I'm going to rem remove a uh, filthy clothing mod. Because it really was not that useful. Um, it's, it made things a little bit too hard. And everything else we're just going to leave. Uh, everything we've made and done before, we're going to leave here as well. More survival tools, tall buildings, uh, regular dark days ahead, obviously. Um, boats, folding parts, vehicle addition, ice, coons, arsenal, necromancy. Yep, everything else is going to be fine. Uh, we're going to leave it as is. And we're just <clears throat> we're going to finalize the world. And this is Game Creek. That's a hilarious name. Um, we can imagine it's the same world Ryan lived in, but for the sake of my sanity, I'm just not going to, to use the same world. So we're going to go ahead and create Game Creek, and uh, we're going to hit Enter. Oh, wait, we got to, I'm sorry, we got to go make a new game, and we're going to do a custom character, and we're going to do it in Game Creek. Uh, are you sure you want to start a game in Game Creek? Why, yes, I am sure. Easy enough. And what we're going to do is Kate is going to be, I think, what is it, an evacuee? I think that's what it is, because the one we did was sheltered, and it's a winter start. So, evacuee is going to be all default prof professions. And here you can see, actually, all of the different kinds of professions. Um, you know, we've got cyber junkie, convict, all kinds of stuff. I don't think rude boy. <laughs> that would have been a great one for Ryan. Um, um, rude or, or rude girl. Um, I don't know if there's, like, a gamer one in here. There's so many things. Science Club, AV member. Uh, let's see. Bow Hunter. I'm just looking through and seeing this one that fits because streamer and stuff is not one. And it's not in any, like, logical order, unfortunately. Excuse me. Hiccup. And by, by logical order, I do mean, like, I would prefer, like, ideally alphabetical. <laughs> but the game doesn't seem to want to do that. Uh, let's see. Fast food cook. I might just stick with Survivor because we can kind of just mess with that a little bit, as always. Because teacher, no. I mean, Kate might be considered an otaku. Do we want to go otaku? Let's go to otaku real quick. So this gives you tailoring one. Uh, we're going to be switching to female, by the way. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We are now female. Uh, tailoring one gives you a bunch of underwear and, and, and whatnot. Also, sewing kit, pair of fuzzy cat ears, fuzzy cat tail, fur kitty collar, Boston Anime Con magazine, paper wrapper of cheeseburgers. Listen, Kate's, I don't know, is Kate considered an otaku? No, 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 no. I want, we'll, we'll click otaku for now. It costs a point. We get tailoring out of it. But nothing else seems to be really, like, clicking with me. And I don't know if I want to do Survivor right away again. But it is kind of the most flexible. So we'll go with Otaku for now. And Kate, I apologize if you're watching. I don't think you are. I don't think this is your style of game. But if you are, 
I apologize. All right, I'm gonna do kind of similar stuff as last time. Um, I'm going to take Kate is, I don't know how Kate is as a sleeper, but I'm gonna go night vision again, even though that didn't seem to do much for us, because she's also up late at night, much like all of us are. Um, we can take pretty apparently, we're not gonna worry about that because role playing, not because you're not pretty Kate, Good God, don't don't take that the wrong way. Just because it doesn't make sense for us to take that. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't, I apologize. Uh, let's see. I like taking infection resistant. Where is it? There it is. Uh, and Kate is also kind of like light on her feet. She's very tiny. If you ever met Kate in person, she's a very tiny human being in general. Light step is, is gonna be nice for us. Uh, she makes less noise when walking, which is nice. Um, but she's also, it just, it, it is how she is. Uh, she also can take psychopath. You don't experience guilt. I assume that would be something like if I kill an NPC, uh, that would bother her or something. I don't know if Kate's a skilled liar, really. But we're gonna go over here. Oop. No, 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 no. Go back. And we're gonna go ahead and take glass jaw again, because Kate is, you know, uh, rather frail looking at least. I could take Kate. Don't tell her, but I could take Kate. I like the idea of her being a truth teller. Um, insomniac. Ah, kind of. I like addictive personality as well. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Next, Kate is pretty smart. And she's definitely going to be dexterous. Let's go to skills real quick. Fabrication, super useful. Similar reasons, no. Similar reasons, can I? Oh, I gotta hit right, I forgot about that. Uh, Not gonna take martial arts this time, but she gets tailoring, which is good, right out the gate. We'll go ahead and take first aid. Computers, while useful, most computers at this point are, are like not something you can really mess with, unfortunately. We'll take dodging two. And that'll be Kate. Cause she's not really a fighter, you know what I mean? So while that might be diff d problematic all told, you know, it's it's not something that she's gonna have to worry about. And we'll do, this is Kate, uh, female, and we can just kind of dive in. Oh shoot, I'm not, I don't have a timer going right now. So I have no idea how long I've been going. We'll mess around for a little bit. I apologize, I forgot to start my timer. So I don't know how long we've been going. I'm gonna keep an eye on the clock right now and I'm just gonna kind of go with this. So welcome Kate, eight strength, 10 dex, nine int, and eight perception. Are you sure? Yes. And welcome, Kate Letourneau, who is wearing cat ears. Good God, that's hilarious. Why is it snowing? It's spring. Okay, it's spring and that's all that matters. All right, so welcome to the shelter. Uh, we are actually at a proper evac shelter. Um, she's making no sound walking around right now. Uh, and this is kind of like the top of it. There's also an underground area. But we've got a busted up computer there, a computer that works there, and four lockers over here. One of which has em one em two emergency folded blankets and two emergency jackets. That's actually a really good to grab right away. And that's all that's there. Uh, let's go downstairs real quick. And there's a, there's a damn zombie down here? Since when could a zombie be down here. Okay. I don't, why can't I see it all of a sudden? Hostile, human body, it's just a zombie. Okay. That's a problem. Um, I have nothing to fight. At all. I have no way of fighting whatsoever. That is bizarre, man. Alright, what are we gonna do? I'm just doing a quick look out the windows to see if there's anything nearby. Seems like we're pretty clear. There's a, there's a lot of stuff out there. A lot of turkeys, a lot of turkeys. That's fine. I can handle turkeys. Um... Just wanted to see if I could see anything off the angles there. Okay. 
what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So, move the zombie downstairs. We have a counter here and a bench here. I'm trying to think. I want to smash some of this and get maybe a two by four. But we're just, we only have our fists. You don't seem to be damaging the counter. Okay. What if we pass some time here? You don't seem to be damaging the bench either. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. And if we go in here, we've got a cheeseburger and fries, the magazine, and a sewing kit. Oh, God. Ah! What do I do, man? What do I do to start here? What? There's a smoker zombie? Okay. Cool. This is what we're going to do. I'm out. Hit the map and take a look. So our, um... I can't believe this. This sucks! This sucks! I can't even use my freaking base as, like, my home base. I might be able to and, like, ignore the basement. Um, but that means I need to wander up north without a weapon. House south from Chebag Island. So we've got a little town up front up here. Chebag Island. Uh, there's a veterinarian clinic, which is actually awesome. Because there's medical supplies we can use there. There's a house here and a parking lot here. Uh, we also have a large office tower on the outskirts of this little town. What's over in the north over here? Mega store. All right, that's probably got a ton of zombies in it. Also, off to our west, we've got a military bunker. I'm sure that's horrifying. And then a mansion. A mansion. All right. Our best bet right now, unfortunately, is to go out. And uh, we're going to grab this and grab this. And I'm going to actually go ahead and drop right here just one of these. Actually, let's go to our inventory and just take one. We're going to wear this emergency jacket, which we are now wearing. I'm going to drop this one. Okay. And then uh, I did not drop it. I dropped my panties. Okay, I'm sorry. I made you take off your panties. That was a mistake. Let's make, let's go ahead and put those back on, shall we? And if we go into plus, I want to make sure they're, you know, bottom or top, rather. Don't want to wear your panties on the outside, Kate. You have, you have a little bit of a, uh, not shame, but you know what I mean. Let's go ahead and drop one of these. So we have a folded emergency blanket and an emergency jacket on. And we're just going to head out and we're going to head north immediately. And hopefully, find our way to a house without getting into too much trouble. I am concerned for our safety. We don't have much to work with. I wonder if I could get a, a, a swimmer zombie? A slick and glistening human body. Its hands and feet are webbed and it is clad in swimwear. Gross. We're going to ignore that. That's, that's that's a problem because it's up north. But I'm going to try and uh, spot a bear. Great. Hopefully the zombie and the bear fight each other. And we'll see what ends up happening to them. I'm going to hit some shrubs. And if I can... This, this, the swimmer zombie got killed by the bear. Great, great, great. That's awesome. A spitter zombie already. We have a spitter zombie that looks like it's probably fighting the bear. Turkeys and possums everywhere. A lot of good areas to hunt. Can I smash the tree? I did. I smashed the tree. Three heavy sticks. Okay, let's head back. I'm going to use these heavy sticks and <clears throat> maybe break down... the uh, one of the benches here. I don't know if I can. Can I wield it? I can. I'm wielding a heavy stick. Let's see if I can break this bench. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Thank God. I'm going to dispose of the heavy stick for now and just drop it. I've got the 2x4. 
And I got some nails. Can I craft? I just want to craft a little something here. I might just use the 2x4 in general, I guess. Let's actually look at crafting and see what I need to make a... Um, not a cudgel necessarily, though there is a rock out there. But we need... A heavy stick and a rock, don't we? One tool with cutting, which we don't have. What about... How did Kate live? Can I just ask a question? How did Kate live here? How did Kate live here? It doesn't make any sense. Why are there zombies downstairs? Uh, Mathis, where are you going? Uh, I'm running out real quick. Because I want a rock. So here's what I'm thinking. Grab the rock. And here's what I'm going. Back in here. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to get a hammered or nailed 2x4, but a rock counts as a hammering weapon. And I'm just going to smash the shit out of this. Okay. And I'm going to grab the pipe. I'm going to dispose of the 2x4. I'm going to freaking drop it. And we've got this pipe. Next, I'm going to get some light. And I'm going to craft. And I'm going to make a makeshift crowbar by hammering this thing with a rock. And now we have a, a crowbar. So, with the crowbar, it's actually a decent weapon. It's not a great weapon, but I'm... Kate somehow lost... Oh, we, we actually dropped it. Somehow lost... Her shelter to zombies downstairs. My guess is that Kate is on the upstairs because whoever she was in the shelter with ended up... One of them ended up venturing out, getting bitten, coming back, not telling anybody, turning into a zombie, biting somebody else... But was downstairs and Kate just locked them down there and let them become zombies. Waiting, biding her time until she was finally able to get down there and beat them to death. However, she didn't have much. So she, she knew she needed to get some tools. So she went out and got a stick and decided, you know what, I'm going to make a, a two by four with nails. Decided she didn't have the ability to do that right now and then ended up uh, doing something different. And decided to smash a locker, make a crowbar, and go from there. Wow, I can't see anything. I can't. Yes, we're going to walk into the smoke. And we're going to... There's the smoker zombie. I don't know. Let's actually look at this thing. We're going to fight it. A blackened and twisted naked human body. Strips of flesh hang from its body and it emits a smoke of constant haze and thick black smoke. We're just going to try and fight this thing. Kate, come on. I know you can't see right now, and that's the problem. Beat it. We're just gonna fight this thing. So it's biting at us and clawing at us, and we're fighting it back to the best of our capability. Uh, but it's it's very, very hard. Did it run? Let's take a look at our character. We're in pain, we're unhappy, and we're in smoke. But we can't see anything because of the smoke. That's the wall. That's also the wall. There's the other zombie. We're just going to beat this thing to death. And we got medical supplies down here. This is why Kate's fighting. And we're going to smash it. Where's that other zombie? Did it just dissipate? What the hell is that? It's a sweater. Alright, that's good. And a heat pack. Alright, we're alright. Cardboard box with hexamine. I don't know what hexamine is. It's a lighter. Alright, we should just be taking these things. Uh, let's actually go ahead and pass some time and get our stamina back. We're having a hard time breathing, I think, because of the smoke, but we're good. We're coughing. We're coughing bad. It's because we've got smoke in our lungs. Hopefully that'll just go away on its own. So let's go ahead and grab the lighter. Let's go ahead and grab a cardboard box with hexamine. I don't know what hexamine is, so I'm going to leave it alone. A first aid kit, we're going to grab it. Drama novel, we're just going to ignore it. 
Spray can, we're just gonna ignore it. Bandage is fantastic. We're gonna grab that. And a plastic bottle with lamp oil. We're gonna grab because we're gonna dump it and we're gonna put water in it. Not a bad opening outside of a very rather difficult one. And I'm gonna grab the sweater and wear it. Just put the sweater on. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on under the jacket. So we should be able to see the jacket now. All right. We're coughing a bunch. Hopefully we'll, it'll, it'll be all right. Oof, our coughing is actually killing our stamina right now, but we're alive. Our, our encumbrance is bad. Our melee damage is, is not great right now. I'm just, I'm wondering if, I gotta learn where like, how encumbrance affects our melee to, to bringing it at negative. Apparently our melee was negative last time, but where do I see it? Hands are not, are minus 30 encumbrance. I don't know what that means. Juice the speed at which you can handle or manipulate items re uh, reloading. Cost plus movement zero points. Dexterity minus zero when throwing items. I don't know. I just don't know how to read it, I guess, a little bit. As much as I'd like to. Let's take a look at this computer. Loading in the evac shelter computer. Log in successful. Press any key. Uh, so we got a few things here. We've got an emergency message. Disable external power and contact us. Let's see what emergency message is. Greetings, citizens. A biological attack has taken place and a state of emergency has been declared. Emergency personnel will be aiding you shortly to ensure your safety. Please follow the all the steps. Do not panic. Remain inside the building. Seek shelter in the basement. Yeah, okay. Uh, use provided gas masks. I don't see any. Await further instructions. Doesn't really help. Not going to disable external power. I don't know how that's going to help us. What's contact us do? You have, if you have any feedback concerning your visit, please contact the Department of uh, Emergency Management Public Affairs Office, the local blah, blah, blah. It would be, if you would like to speak with us or someone in person or would like to write us a letter, send it to, okay, so basically contact them. And that's it. So that's useless. Uh, basically says the, 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 the place was attacked. It makes sense. Man. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here because I don't know how long I've been going. That's my own fault. What a shitty start. Uh, Kate. Beating what I presume were her once friends who were locked in the basement and became zombified. What became a smoker zombie because they were probably a smoker of some sort. And the other, just a regular zombie. Um, I'm actually going to see if there's anything here that I want. No. Not really. But maybe we'll take one of those. Um, and we're going to have to go from here and figure out what to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Kate Letourneau, without knowing her husband is dead strives to live on her own now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.